Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to work in this book here, Linda Ravencroft's Naughty Fairies 2. Of course I wanted to get out some inks again, so we're going to work on her. She is Murky Water Fairy. <laughs> and I have some ink out that I'm going to use, um, kind of in these two colors mixed together kind of giving it a murky water color down at the bottom. And then we're going to bring some of it up into um, the gal herself. Need to find a inking pad that would work well with these colors. Should have done that before I got on camera so I wouldn't have to try to do this with my thumb here. There we go. It's already got some green ink, which is probably the uh, peeled paint on it. And we're going to just mix the colors down here with these two um, colors. I probably should tape that off. And when I say tape it off, it just means put sticky notes down at the bottom. <laughs> just so we don't go too far out of bounds. I've mentioned this before, I get these uh, sticky notes at Costco in a huge pack. So I don't mind using them for this purpose. I don't usually take notes <laughs> on these. Scrap paper just sitting around on my desk is my note paper. <laughs> so let's just stick this in here. Maybe I should go up all the sides. Then I can ink the whole um, background too, if I wanted to. Bring up some of the dark blue into that uh, really dark black up there. So I'll just go ahead while we're taping it down, having a little chat. <laughs> so how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Hope that's stuck down good enough. Just move these things out of here. We were supposed to have a snowstorm last night, but fortunately, that didn't happen. It's kind of funny because it says it's going to rain while it's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm like, um. 30 degrees kind of gives us the idea that it's not going to rain when it comes out of the sky. But it didn't rain, so we were lucky. All our other snow melted away, so that was nice. It's just cold out there. One more, and then we'll be done. Okay. Anything here I want to lighten up before I start inking? I think. That little bit of murky stuff coming down. That arm should be lighter. Okay, she's got a dribble coming down that arm too. Bring that up. She's got some coming down here, so I'm going to kind of add one here. There we go. Oh, it comes down off. wings so let's make sure those drip down a little bit more and looks like it comes down out of her hair too so we'll bring some of that and lighten it up uh, bring one down from here that side
Okay, that should be good enough for right now. We can always go in and take some more out. But I wanted to make sure the areas that I'm going to wipe down, or spray down, or whatever you want to call it, ink, up, are at least a little erased there. Okay, going in with the green first. That's peeled paint. And we'll just add some down in here. Murky water. Throw some in her wings up here. I'll throw a little in this dress area. Little in her hair up there. Possibly a little on her skin too while we're at it. get out the um, bluer color. Uh, this is called Uncharted Mariner. Just running it around the bottom here. In her wings again. Okay, take that off. Save it in case we want to come back in with some more color around the edges up there. Now I have some pencils here. I thought I'd bring out some of the turquoise ones. So we have cobalt turquoise, cobalt green, helo turquoise, and then of course my three favorite blues in case I need to get a lighter color in here. So we have the light phalo blue, we've got the light tur cobalt turquoise, and the dark indigo. I've also got some green shades. Uh, chrome oxide green, a prisma in sap green light, earth green, and the chrome green opaque. Green gold. So we're going to use those colors to bring in any more shading here. I'm going to get out one Copic marker to give her a little bit of skin color. So it's the um, E000 and we're just going to put it on the skin. 
that doesn't have any color on it yet. Blend it right in with the uh, greens that are there. Bring in the um, barley beige too, just to give her a little my sentence huh a little darker coloration there <laughs> we'll go back in with the e000 and blend that a little bit better there we go we put a little of that darker color down here in her fingers. Take a little of this barley too, and we're going to put it up in the wings just a little bit. Turquoise, Hilo Turquoise. I'll try to remember the colors names when I bring them in. Gonna darken these folds in her clothes a little bit.
and bring that up into the wings too. And we're going to add some of this into our hair. Okay, I'm going to bring in the uh, cobalt green. into the wings. Get the um, cobalt light turquoise. Gonna get the whole bind white here. I'm gonna give that a sharpen real quick. Make sure there's no color on the end of it. And we're gonna highlight some of these areas.
Here we're going to take in the dark indigo. I'm going to darken underneath the white line I just put in there. It's her belt. some in her hair too. Do, do this one, cobalt turquoise. Just gonna add a little bit of that in there too. That has to be lightened a little bit. That's a dribble coming down her forehead. And I didn't lighten that one, so it looks too much like a hair piece. Then we'll put in our turquoisey color. Then our white. I'm gonna make it look like it's dribbling down. This is the uh, Prisma Sap Green Light.
last color I think I'll bring in, I'm going to skip these other ones, is green gold. I'm kind of liking that. Let's say for her eyes, I've got to put some color in there. So I'm just going to go with the green gold. I'm going to take the sponge that we uh, used earlier and I'm just going to rub off the rest of the ink. It's on it. And blend it on everything. Then we're just going to darken the murkiness of the, I don't know, design in her dress. <laughs> turquoise in it too. Got this prisma sap green. Okay, we're going to add in some sparkles on her, and then I'm going to call it. Let's see what we should bring in. Diamond, or I think we'll bring in whatever this is, diamond here. And we're going to put it on her wings, probably some of her dress, and of course in her hair. So we're going to start up here on her wings.
I'm going to get these drips. Then we'll do these little circle blobs or bubbles or whatever they are. The drips in her hair. We're going to go around the water here on some of these rings. Maybe I'll get a different bottle. <laughs> I'll get another different bottle. I'm not going to read all these labels. There we go. <clears throat> Don't know if you can see all the sparkles, but they're there. <laughs> I'll take a picture when she dries and put it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.